Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 22nd, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily You, giving you an update on space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, world weather. We're going to start out here looking at the last 48 hours on the sun as we have that large sunspot grouping turning into an earth-facing position now. Let's hope they play nice here for the next 48 hours as we are in direct Earth-facing position. This is a look at multi-spectrum, all of the events over the last couple days. And just today we did have an M-class solar fl flare projected from this sunspot grouping. Nothing major was thwarted our way though. Quick look here at 304 angstroms. This is the incoming side. Plasma filaments erupting here. Standing on the surface, wrapping themselves around the southern hemisphere. And this is outgoing and earth facing. So these sunspot groupings are still putting on quite a show as they have been for the past week. And just today, another M-class solar flare. Looking here, the solar X-ray flux. There was an M1.3 solar flare. Geomagnetic activity remains slightly elevated. And KP3. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at 473 kilometers per second right now. And that's been pretty steady throughout the day. Other than that, no major space weather events thwarted our way. Quick look at earthquakes around the world. As our largest earthquake today was a 5.7 in a pretty rare place. Bosnia at that And that was at a 10 kilometer depth. V2 on the shake map. As well, a 5.0 reported here in Greenland. As well, Eastern Russia seeing a 4.0. And Alaska with a large and deep earthquake. Nelson Lagoon, Alaska with a 5.3. They did put out a tsunami watch, but there is none imminent. Deepest earthquake today here in Fiji. Actually, I don't even think that was today. I think that was late last night. Deepest earthquake is here in Alaska. Still watching lots of activity through the Banda Sea and up in the Philippines. Across South America, only reporting two earthquakes there, minor at that. USGS isn't even reporting anything right now, the last 24 hours for South America. Activity moving eastward from the Dominican. And then looking across the United States, we did have a pretty rare earthquake to report through Missouri today, as well as Georgia. Only one magnitude, nothing major to report. And then across the, U the western U.S., no major swarms to talk about. Looking at about 250 earthquakes across the USGS map. And about 60 of them were down in the geysers. Minor 0.4 to 3.2 largest reported today quiet across Hawaii quick look at the USGS all of the earthquakes the last 24 hours it looks pretty quiet most of the earthquakes have been in Alaska Alaska uptick as forecasted here with daily events worldwide stay tuned daily as they do give out quick forecasts whenever I can see things developing 
minor earthquakes northwest of Yellowstone, one in the lake. Activity moving up into Washington State. Ashford. But no major earthquakes to report today on Earth Day. Only that large and rarer 5.7 in Bosnia. Quick look at our Schumann resonance for today as it is a power of 5160. Healthy spike here over the last six, seven hours reported on this graph. So power of 60, amplitude, quality of 9. Also, a quick look at our world weather, current status, satellite imagery, and as well give you an update on the active and erupting volcanoes getting updated today. So this is Earth Day 2022. And as we've been seeing a lot of changes on this planet over the past 10 to 20 years, seeing some dramatic changes over the last few years, especially in our jet streams, watching these systems get larger, increasing in velocity and size. The size of this low pressure system heading into Alaska. This is where I was expecting the uptick in seismicity. Just wait for these images to load up. Quite the weather event headed through New Zealand over the past few days as well. Large line of moisture wrapping itself around the Southern Hemisphere. Following our very weird and wonky jet streams. I'll give you a quick look at our jet streams right now. And have a look at nullschool.com. Here we go. Here are our jet streams. Now, this is upper level, but this dip right here in our jet stream across North America. That brought a lot of snow, believe it or not. 15 centimeters of snow dropped through Calgary, Alberta. Upsloping snows mostly. There wasn't even a major system affecting them, but the winds and the cold air definitely dropped a lot of snow. Almost a foot of snow has fallen through Alberta. And our jet streams are getting intense, especially in the Southern Hemisphere. Look at these upper level winds at 285 kilometers an hour. In some places, 300 kilometers an hour. Now just look at the difference here. We're gonna sh show you this is now. Let's go back one year to 2021. Still that big dip right here but not as intense our jet streams have definitely changed let's get up to 10,000 feet this was last year and now 2022 quite a difference between last year and now for sure as we've got one two three four five six different directions that our jet streams are going across our planet climate change is real our climate is changing but it's going through a cycle just like it has in our past
give you a quick update on the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Semeru in Indonesia, Krakatoa, Indonesia, as well Reventador in Ecuador, Sangay in Ecuador, Sabincaya, Peru, and Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia, Karamiski, Russia, Dokono, Indonesia, Fuego, Guatemala, And that is all the volcanoes getting updated today. So that's about 10 volcanoes with active and erupting statuses or raised alert status. Also give you a quick forecast here brought to you by windy.com. Give you a quick forecast across the world here starting today friday as we do have that low still developing through colorado central united states is going to be bringing snow into saskatchewan and manitoba by saturday and then by sunday it'll be a full flown or sorry a full-blown blizzard across manitoba and northern ontario stretching up into the Hudson Bay and then watching for some tropical moisture to head through the Gulf of Mexico up through Texas Arkansas and as well Illinois Indiana watch for extreme weather event for Monday heading southwards into Tuesday other than that it's been pretty cold Another low here developing through central prairies. More snow. Still a lot of snow falling. And look at this forecast here for next week, 28th of April. A lot of snow fall falling higher elevations, BC. And those upsloping snows all through the foothills of Alberta and southern Alberta. Minus two in Calgary. And then long range forecast. We've got another big system here at the end of the month. And that's still going to be bringing down on the backside a lot of snow. So yeah, winter is definitely not over yet, especially for the Northern Hemisphere and North America right now. No major weather systems coming to South America this week. Daily evaporation rains mostly. Stormy conditions, Brazil, Argentina up into Wednesday. We're looking Africa and Europe. Still got that low pressure system on the east coast of Africa that will be affecting you guys from now until Monday before it finally moves out southwards. Europe, you got a big snowstorm for parts of Norway, Finland, coastal regions mostly, and then watch this big storm blow up right across Eastern Europe, Central Europe, and over into Russia. Still lots of snow falling. And still some big systems developing. Here we go, folks. Welcome to the new mini ice age. Long range forecast. No major tropical systems developing here. A couple tropical depressions. Philippines, west of the Philippines, developing by the 29th. And then a pretty strong system coming out of Japan, the 30th. Other than that, no major changes since last update two nights ago. This was a live update. We are live right now in the live stream. And you are live with me right now, whoever is in the live stream. I want to thank everybody for watching. 
This has been an impromptu daily do. First time I tried, ended up getting phone calls and door knocks and it is what it is. I want to thank everybody for watching and as well following along with daily events worldwide. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Thanks for watching. Good night now. Bye-bye.